Hi guys, Arindam here. Over here, mate. And in this video, I will show you how to complete the mission along Kim Pollen on Gamma, Beta, and Alpha difficulties. So, first of all, what gear should you require? You are going to need either of a hazmat suit, hat, or a gas mask because you will be collecting the pollens from those uh, poisonous trees, and those guys can hurt you if you are not using either of the two other than that you will require one dino to move and actually go to the pollen trees for that you might use several different dinos if you if transfers are available you can use a reaper the reaper is a rather excellent mount for this because with the reaper's tail spin attack can allow you to clear away all of the enemies without them launching any attacks against you and keeping you boxed in so the reaper is a good choice other than that you can also use a ferox or a bloodstalker because they are very good for movement and if you want to go in using a brute method you can use any tank tanking powerful dino like a giga a rex or a therezino anything would work make sure that the dino you are using is durable has good attack capabilities and is generally fast because you will have a set time to complete the entire mission. Now for my mission, I'm going to be using a uh, Therizinosaurus. This is the same Therizino I used for killing the Gamma Master Controller. And I'm going to be using a Therizinosaurus for the combat. And I'm going to be using a Bloodstalker for traversal. I also have a couple of veggie cakes just in case I need to heal it. But I will not be using veggie cakes until I actually reach the alpha stage. So let me kill this insect swarm which is trying to hunt me and after that I will see you in a bit. And we are back. So we are going to start off with Gamma. The first thing to do is you are going to want to disable resource harvesting on your dino. Gamma is a really really easy mission one you can actually farm if you are unsure of what to do so I am not going to be using any specialized dino like a stopper Should be straightforward. my Therizino Saur is max look. level and I am sure if you have gone to Genesis you will have at least some amount of good dino for this One of the reasons you would want to disable resource harvesting is that in the box biome there are trees and other collectibles that when hit can overburden the Therizino sword. Now why did I use Therizino? I could have used some other dino. I mean I can use a rap I can use a Rex for this. The reason for using a Therizino is the same reason I give everywhere. They can heal using veggie cakes, they are generally small so they can traverse a lot of different areas and they are boss killing dinos so they are capable of hand fishing out an enormous amount of damage. All in all, I believe the Therizinosaur is the perfect dino for practically any scenario. And considering how much time you are given in Gamma, you don't need any specialized dino. I could have done it with a Bloodstalker, you know. But thing is, taming a Bloodstalker is pretty tough. So I want you to see that you can do this mission even using a rather standard dino like a Therizino. I'm sure taming a Therizino won't be that difficult for you right now that you are already advanced to Genesis On Gamma the enemies take an increased amount of damage that is why you really don't have to bother with it 
for all intents and purposes you could have gone with a primitive saddle and a wild i mean non-imprinted non-bred therinosaur it really will not make any difference it's that easy Getting swarmed in this difficulty is not really a big deal. My scanners are picking up something, but it's a ways I know there are a lot of you guys who use specialized dinos for everything but I am one of the kind of guy that doesn't want to stress too much so I prefer using a single jack of all trades to do practically everything. That is one of the reasons why I did not use a reaper king for this, a reaper king would have made this thing too easy. Because first of all the reaper king is... Uh, I, I don't know if you can tame Reaper Kings on Genesis, they are specifically an aberration based dino. Secondly, taming a Reaper King involves getting a Reaper Queen and then getting impregnated. It's very complicated and difficult, not everyone can do it. Same goes for the other advanced dinos like a Bloodstalker and the... Let's have a look. Both of them require some amount of investment on your part to actually successfully tame it. On the other hand, a Therizino is really an easy busy kind of dino. If you think you have a difficulty if you think you have difficulty taming a Therizino, there are like an innumerable number of guides to say how to tame it. And considering the difficulty of this mission, you definitely don't need any advanced stuff. Now that we have gone to the final stage, it's a really nice time for us to use either of the two. I'm going to be using a hazard mask, which I'm sure a lot of you know is from Aberration, but you can also get it from uh, here. These Spinos are actually for the mission. They are very powerful as you can see. One of the ways to spot if a particular wild dino is for a mission is how they will aggro onto you and As you can see these were wild dinos. That was one. Each of these three poison trees are defended by a single Spinosaur. On Gamma this is very easy. But if you were to do it on some other difficulty, the Spino might cause a problem to you. As you can see I am a bit relaxed for this mission. Since your dino does not is not wearing a gas mask, so 
I would suggest you to not keep the dino close to the pollen trees. You can see that I have taken some amount of damage. I know my dino is getting attacked but that's okay Okay, now that we have actually gotten Our thing it's time to escape We have only a limited time to escape and a Therizino is just about on par to complete the course it is for this last stage i would suggest you use a dino that is suited for flight over fight so a bloodstalker or a ferox or even a procoptodon they are good mounts for this Now that we have gotten a bit of our stamina, it should be smooth sailing from here. As you can see, I got this mission done and I was pretty lazy and relaxed. I didn't try to do anything special about it and the mission was successful. That's the advantage of doing Gamma. It allows you to understand how to complete the mission on the higher difficulties and, and also uh, you get to check the loot so we got a couple of uh, plesios or ascendants i mean plesios or platform saddles tapehara saddles some electric prods couple of brews and uh, general gear that you already get so this gamma mission should be a easy introduction for you we're going to start off with beta any moment so till then stay tuned and let's check <laughs> and welcome back so now we are going to start off with the uh, beta for beta i'm keeping the same formula because for most of you guys you should have no problem with gamma and beta it's only alpha you need specialized Retrieval, techniques then you got it? so let's see if we can use the same strategy for beta
beta is more or less your normal difficulty you get enough time for this Brute force, that's what I'm going to use for Gamma and Beta. The moment we go to Alpha, our strategy will be slightly different. But you will see. I'm still relaxed for Vita because we have like a lot of time. Time isn't really a factor. Especially you have something like a Therizino. It's not that difficult. Let's get a bit of our stamina back. One of the things to note is that you don't really require an Ascendant Saturn and you don't really require a boss Terizino. In fact, the way the mission is designed, it's exclusively made for flying over fight. I have done Gamma with a Hazard Helmet or a hat so it only is fair that I try a different strategy for Vita so I'll be using the Gas Mask for this Once 
gas mask is something that is very difficult to craft on other maps and you probably don't even have the engram for it but for genesis missions gas mask is a pretty common loot drop so let me wear it Now that the coast is clear, let's get these guys. One, two, hello, hi, nice meeting you. Sometimes I get confused why art lags like this. Anyway, that's the first one down. There's another max level spino for us. This one, as you can see, is taking less damage. The reason is, this is not actually a mission dino. That's why it's taking less damage and it was not uh, aggressive to us by default. That's two down. Hello. This Pino is really pretty. Has that acidic look. Even though this is a wild and not mission dino, I'm still going to kill it because when I'm going to actually collect it, I don't want it interfering unnecessarily with my collection. Now, we have to be careful. So one more to go. What do you do now? Hmm? Do you continue using this guy? I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is cryo it.
Even by jumping, this mission becomes a really easy. Nothing like a propaganda. As you can see, uh, this was rather easy, and I did change my strategy between Gamma and Beta. Anyway, now that we are close to the safety of Bronto, I'll show you the loot. So we got a couple of Fiomia saddles, Ascendant, uh, Ascendant Dire Beer, and uh, well, everything else is not that up to the mark. This one might be of some use. So that's about it for beta. I'll I'll have a remixed version of this strategy for Alpha. So till then. Stay tuned. Okay, let me first drop down. Stay tuned for more. And welcome back. Let us start off with Alpha. For Alpha, I'm going to be using a combination of a Hover Skiff and a Gigan Autosaurus. If you have watched my previous video, Between then I've already completed the Master it? Controller on Gamma difficulty or Gamma that. difficulty. So I've already unlocked the Hover Skiff. So it only makes sense for me to use what is already available to me. The best Box thing that is available check. to me. Yes, getting closer. Now you could do this mission in a couple of ways, you could use a Bloodstalker, a Ferox or a Reaper King to also complete these stages but I believe if you have to do a mission you need to do it in such a way that it is relaxing, easy and simple. You don't need to guess too many things. We're getting close. There are lots of variables and stuff on ARC and you need to make sure that your approach is as simple as possible. Commencing scan. And once you get a hover skip, this part becomes very easy. Now here you need to be slightly careful, you don't want those creatures coming from above this ledge to uh, drop down on your skiff, in that case your skiff will be destroyed because there is no way for you to actually take those creatures away out of the skiff. Okay, now you know what you need to do. So what you're going to do is land this thing somewhere safe and deploy your main guy. Of course, make sure that your resource harvesting is disabled.
Okay, this one is the closest. So we're going to do this at the very last. This helps us to track where exactly our skiff is at the end. Is coast clear? No. What's that over there? Look at that. What's that over Raptors can be pretty annoying. Okay, that's two out. First one done. We still have five and a half minutes to go. Now we need to first see where our skiff is. There is our skiff. So we have our skiff here. Let's see if our approach was good enough. First one gone. And last checkpoint. Yay! So as you can see, this mission got ended pretty fast, pretty easily, aside from a couple of jumps from the Giga which took a lot of my health away, the mission was easy. And we got, well, we got really good loot, there is, these are Ascendant Plesiosaur Saddles, three of them. I don't need this anymore. So we got really nice loot. And this is the Ascended Moza. I really need this one actually. Anyway, um, 
before I end this video I will end on a couple of things first of all if you are going to do the alpha missions I do hope you have completed the master controller on gamma gamma because quite frankly master controller and gamma is not that hard as people are saying I already have a video on how I completed that with 19 Therizinosaurus and 1 Uteranus so you can check that out it will be in the link down in the description below and once you unlock a script most of these uh, retrieval missions become really easy now I did not use the turret method that uh, some people will use because I don't know whether this thing but what I do believe is that maybe turrets on a skiff and generators also is kind of not there on official so I did not use it. Hence I used a simple skiff. I know that transfers are enabled hence I use a Giganotosaurus. Otherwise I could have done it with a Bloodstalker or a Reaper King for which there are already videos on YouTube with other people doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. I'll be doing the other missions and I hope to complete every single mission yes every single mission even the alpha gauntlets if i can eventually my plan is going to be to complete the alpha master controller and move away to genesis part 2 so till then stay tuned and thank you for watching we appreciate it